What's up everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Jim from Backyarders TV here. Today is episode three of our Warframe Beginner's Guide series. Uh, if you have missed episode one and two, I will leave a uh, link to both of those videos down in the description below. Uh, today's video is on two topics. Uh, they're sort of related anyway. First thing we're gonna cover is the mission tiers. Uh, the tiers are important because certain uh, items drop in certain tiers. So you need to know how to tell what tier of mission you are on. And the second thing that's pretty much related to that is the rotations. You may have heard of somebody saying they want to stick around for a mission until rotation B or rotation C because that's where their, the reward thereafter um, resides. And so we're gonna explain what the rotations are and how to know which uh, reward rotation you are on. Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the mission tiers. There are three tiers uh, and the tiers relate to the enemy levels of the missions. The rewards that you get will be based on those tiers. So there are tier one uh, reward pools, tier two reward pools, and tier three reward pools. So depending on what item you are after, you might have to do a different type of mission. So the general rule, and this isn't um, a locked in rule, it, it does fluctuate a little bit, but the general rule is tier one is anything from level one to 10, tier two is anything from 10 to 20, and tier three is anything from 20 to above. There are some missions that break these rules and go outside that, um, but for the vast majority, uh, that's what you're playing with. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, this in practice. So if we look at Earth, pretty much all of Earth is a tier one area. So you can see there, level six to 16, that's tier one. Um, you know, level one to six, tier one. 25, or that's the, that's the final boss there, so that's tier three. Uh, tier one. Tier one, right? And so you, and so it goes. So if you jump across to more advanced areas like Neptune, uh, you're now into tier three, level 30 to 35, 30 to 32. These are tier three missions, 29 to 30. These are all tier three missions. The Void is an area which sort of has its own rules and its own drop tables and such. So people call it tier four, but it, it really isn't. But um, you know, that's where you go up to the 40s and 45. So keep that in mind. So if you search the wiki for a particular item that you might be after and it says it drops at tier three rotation A, well now you know what the tier three means. So you need to do a mission that is higher than level 20. So the second thing I want to talk about today is rotations. There are four rotations and they are called A, B and C, but it's applied A, A, B, C. So the first reward you get is an A reward, a, report, a reward from the A pool. The second reward is another reward from the A pool. Third is from the B pool and fourth is from the C pool. If you go all the way through to a fifth reward, that goes back to an A pool. So here you can see in the background, I am running IO on Jupiter and that's a defense mission. So IO is a tier two uh, mission. In a defense mission, every five waves is one rotation. So at wave five, we're at rotation A. At wave 10, it's another rotation A reward. At 15, it's a rotation B reward. And at wave 20, it's a rotation C reward. If we go to wave 25, that's back to rotation A and the whole process repeats. So you see here at the wave complete screen, uh, we are at wave five and we've got a, a reward. That is a rotation A reward. So here, if we jump ahead to wave 10, you'll see we have another reward. And again, that's from the rotation A pool rewards. And jumping ahead again to wave 15, we now have a rotation B reward. And jumping ahead again to wave 20, we now have a rotation C reward. If we were to continue, uh, the next reward would be a rotation A reward at wave 25. Survival missions work the same way as a defense mission, but instead of waves, it's minutes. So at the five minute mark, it's rotation A, 10 minutes, rotation A, 
15 rotation B and 20 rotation C. The longer you stay, it just keeps repeating. Interception missions and excavation missions work differently. They work on a per objective basis. Um, so each uh, excavator is one rotation. With interception, each message you decrypt is one rotation. So if you go for four, that's A, A, B, C. That's a full cycle. Defection missions also work on a rotation basis, but it's every two squads that you extract is one rotation. So uh, two squads is rotation A, four squads is rotation A, six is rotation B, and eight squads is rotation C. Fire missions are the final one I want to talk about today. They don't really work as far as rotations are concerned because they're not endless, but each vault that you open uh, is effectively a rotation. So if you only do one, that's a rotation A reward. If you do two, that's an A and a B reward. And if you do all three, that's a rotation A, B and C reward. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave it there for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Also hit that little bell notification so you do get a notification when uh, the next video comes out. You can also check us out on Twitch. I stream Sunday to Thursday, 3 p.m. through to 11 Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you have any questions, you can jump across there and ask uh, live. Until the next one, friends, thank you so much for watching once again. Have a great day.